Hi and welcome to our service of Compline. That's the ancient office of night prayer for this Thursday, the 9th of July. I'm Reverend Carol with the Kingsbury and Baxter Lee group of parishes. Now this evening we don't have any commemorations or feasts. So <clears throat> no interesting snippets for me to pass on to you. Let us just take a moment of quiet to come into the presence of God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. <clears throat> As we take a moment of silence for reflection on the past day and any thoughts that we may wish to offer to God, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, Make speed to save us, O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. And we now listen to the evening hymn before the ending of the day. And this version is from the nuns of Nanatis House from the TV series Call the Midwife. psalm for this evening is Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in you I have taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. All my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone 
is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel, and in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices, my flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And our scripture reading for this evening is from 1 Peter, chapter 5, verses 8 and 9. Be sober. Be vigilant, because your adversary the devil is prowling round like a roaring lion, seeking for someone to devour. Resist him, strong in the faith. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So now we come to a time of prayer. So let us pray. Almighty Father, we give thanks for this day, for the people we have met, the conversations we have had, for works completed and works yet still to do. May it all be for the glory of your holy name. We pray that you would let your presence be felt by all those who are struggling with this season of pandemic. Many feel lost and alone at this time and the season is bringing dread. Be with us all in our time of need so that we know we are not alone. We pray particularly for our communities 
and especially for those who live in Sorrel Drive and Southview Kingsbury, Meadow Road, Hurley, St Michael's Close, Wood End and Smithy Lane in Baxter Lake. We pray that this new way of living comes easily without difficulties. And we pray for all churches as they ponder the questions for reopening safely in a timely manner. Let not the difficulties outweigh the promise of worshipping you together once more. Bring your wisdom to all situations that churches can find the best way forward. And we pray for all new curates starting the next stage of their journey. Even though they are not ordained yet, let there be joy in the ministry as they continue. Almighty Father, we pray that the leaders of the nations would look to you for guidance in their decisions that can affect the whole world. Bring peace to our lands. Let your will be done. Bringing before you all who are displaced, those who suffer through human trafficking, those who are hungry and thirsty, those who are abused and downtrodden. Almighty Father, we pray for all those who are suffering grief following the loss of a loved one. Those for whom life will never seem to be the same again. Take all those who have died, including Lindau, Catherine Embleton, George Seedhouse and Eileen Ball. Take them into your loving arms and hold those who are left behind in your love. Lord, we pray for ourselves that each day we may become more like your precious Son, Jesus Christ. Help us in our quest. We ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ, your only Son. Amen. And we pray the, the collect for this Thursday evening. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy. Increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that we lose not our hold on things eternal. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, sustain the dying, calm the suffering, and pity the distressed. All for your love's sake, O Christ our Redeemer. Amen. And we conclude our prayers with the Lord's Prayer in its traditional form. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass 
against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now our concluding words. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. That concludes our service of Compline for this Thursday evening. I wish you all a peaceful, quiet and safe night and look forward to seeing you again on Tuesday next week, 8pm. Take care. God bless.